So I thought you did a really good job explaining the split squat. Uh, it was very detailed. Um, you went over huge, went over hips, foot width. I mean, it was perfect. You know, it's kind of tough to come up with something to correct or to recommend when um, you do a pretty good job. So I'm just gonna come up with another alternative. Um, I think one thing you can do, and you don't see a lot of people do it too much, but it's something that I've, I've done, I've incorporated in my programming sometimes, is when we do split squats or any type of lunge movement, instead of typically, you know, we're taught heels on the ground, press for heels. Okay, so an alternative, go ahead and go to the ball of your foot. Why? Because we change direction, we sprint, we jump off the ball of my foot, essentially. Um, so there's some science that goes into it a little bit, but some things that I started incorporating is training in the weight room in this fashion. So let's say my foot is elevated or it's on the ground here. Now you really got to find that stability, okay? Because now you're on the ball of your foot, you're going to go down and perform it as normal, okay? So you're going to go down, knee doesn't got to hit the ground, maybe about two, three inches from the ground. All right, but just keep that heel off the ground and put a lot of force on the ball of that foot, which is going to really tax your quads. Um, but it would seem like it, it would translate more to maybe plyometrics, on field work, uh, sprinting, changing direction, because we do those things on the balls of our foot. So that's an alternative.